news. I've got a lot of time in this video. So, let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you the Braille Note 8 packs. Now this Braille Note, um, this one was a loner because my old one, it crashed. So, until I get a new one, I'm going to be sticking with this loner. Okay. So, this is just like a computer for the visually impaired. Um, so here you got, that's one, two, three, and then you have a backspace, and then you have a space bar, where it usually is. And you got a scroll wheel here, then you have four, five, six, and then you have the enter key, which is dot eight. So dot seven would be the backspace. So like, normally these would be called dot seven, or it's eight dots, well... The two are like keys, like I, dot seven is here, that's, I call that backspace, and then dot eight is here, I call that enter. Okay, so right now, so right now you're at the main menu, um, you have three, well, let me turn this off first, because if you leave this braille note on for ten minutes, it will turn it off. Um, you have, I'm going to close that, um, you know, I'm going to leave it open, okay. Um, and then you got front, um, and you have, like, these touch cursor buttons that you use those for editing, um, you, you, uh, just put the cursor on the word or, like, letter you want to edit, and then you can just delete that letter, like, if you accidentally hit the wrong keystroke, you can, you know, and then here you have three USB ports, so that's for one US USB 1, USB 2, USB 3 is what I call it. And here is a, I think this is like a slot for an, an SD card or something. And then, I think this is like, uh, right here, there's three lights. This is a Bluetooth, a Wi-Fi, and I think that's a power. And you have these two screws here. I think this is a port for like a VGA, like, monitor or something. And then right here on the far right, you have an Ethernet port, so which is where you can, like, plug in an Ethernet cable. Now, we have two Velcro spots here. Up top, you have uh, your reset button. So, like, if your Braille Note, like, malfunctions or something or freezes, you can just press this button. Now, here you, are, you have your on and off switch. So, if you turn it downward, that turns it on. You're just in the menu. If you turn it upward, then that's... I think this circle thing here, that's for a microphone, and this is for earbuds. And I think this is like a recording button. Yeah, I think that's a recording button. In the right, you have a USB host port. Oh, oh no, no, not a port. Host port, a server port, where you can plug in like your uh, PC to your Braille mount. And up here, you have uh, the uh, socket where you can put your AC adapter, which is like, or your power cord to charge it. Okay, so. Now let's turn it on. Okay, so we have our main menu. You have a whole bunch of different apps. You press space to go through the apps. You have word processor is where like you can create documents, open documents, and like edit them and read them. You know, planner. That's where you have like your uh, your calendar and stuff. Address list, I think that's where, it's, it's like your address book. It's like an address book that has like all your your contacts and stuff. Email, you know what that is. You can just like send your emails, check them. Internet, where you can like search the internet for stuff. Chat, it's like a texting thing. I don't know, I never really did it much. Media center, that's where you can record uh, your voice memos. So, like, voice memos are, like, it's, like, memos, but it's, like, your voice. So, that's when you would use, like, the record button. Stop recording video. Okay, there. Let me check my video time. Okay. It's still good time. Uh, okay. You have your media center, which is where you can record stuff, play it back, you know. Navigation, that's, like, a, I don't know, a little bit of a GPS feature type thing. Book reader, it's just like word processor, but you, it, but it's where you can read it. You can read, 
documents, but you, but you can't edit them. You can only read them. Scientific calculator, you know what that is. It's just like your basic like, calculator. Like, if you don't know the answer to a problem, like, you don't know whether your answer is right or not, you can just, like, I use this a lot. Like, if I have, like, a big math test or something and I don't know whether my answer is right or not, I can just put in the problem on my calculator and it'll tell me the right answer, you know. Or, like, if I don't, you know, if I don't know the answer to the problem. <laughs> Database manager, I don't know what that is. It's like a... Because, like, I don't know what database manager is, so I, it would be, it would be, it would help me a lot if someone would tell me in the comments what database, what the database manager is. Games is like a, a you have, like, these uh, text adventure type things, which is, like, interactive fiction, and you can, like, there's different games you can play on there. Extensions X. I don't know what that really is. I don't. So, uh, if someone can tell me in the comments what the database manager is and what the Extensions X feature is. Oh, uh, oh. I think the database manager is where you can like um, store like databases, like CD catalogs, and you know. Uh, and I think Extensions X is like the X is for like you hit. The letter X, which is dots one, three, four, six, to um, and it has like numbers, tutorials, and stuff. Okay. File manager is where you can delete files, move them to different folders, and rename them. You know, no. utilities. That's like your settings a bit. Terminal for screen reader is where you can like hook up, hook it up to something like, like you could like hook it up to the iPad or something. You know. Keyboard learn is where you can just like learn the basic layout of the keyboard. And so it said for information, press I chord, which is space with I at the same time. I is that's two four. So like it will give you like information about the uh, options menu is like you know more settings. I'm, I'm I think I might show you the options menu. You have date where I can show you the date time. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's like where you can change like what grade you want, like grade one, grade two, or computer braille. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Braille options is where you like setting your braille display settings. Keyboard settings is settings for just the keyboard itself. Review voice is like your voice settings. Connectivity is where you can like that's where you go to like if you wanna connect your braille note to Wi-Fi or something. Visual display, it's where you could, like, hook your laptop or computer to your braille note, and then, like, your teachers or parents can, like, see what you're doing. Next appointment is, like, if you scheduled an appointment, which I do know how to do, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it in this video, I'm just, I just, t I'm just gonna tell you that I do know how to do it, but I'm not going to do it in this video, I might do it off camera. You know, well, you can, like, tell you if you have any appointments. How on battery status, that's where, like, you're, it'll, you can check your, uh, how much power your braille note has. User guide is, like, the manual a bit. I don't know what that is, I think it just, like, spells the word out. Uh, I think that's where it repeats the thing again. Move to my task, I think that's where you can, you know, switch between things. Turn off thumb keys, turn off squirrel wheel. Oh, I didn't tell you that there's thumb keys. You see, there's four thumb keys. Um, there, you use them for like reading and stuff. So we have next, back, pre advanced, previous. I mean, this is help like options. I'm, I might show you the navigation. I don't know. So yeah, that was the Braille Note Apex. Hope you um enjoy this video. Goodbye for now.